In this tutorial, we'll take a look at uh, how to create custom fields and formats. Basically, fields in Word are used as placeholders for data that might change in a document. So if you want to create letters and labels and mail merge documents, we can use custom field formats. Word automatically inserts fields whenever you use a particular command, such as uh, if you need to insert a page number, for instance, or when you insert a document building block, like cover pages or table of contents or at the end of the document you want to insert author name number of pages and so forth you can manually insert those fields and we can automate certain processes as well although uh, they may not be used frequently in word 2013 but i think they're very very powerful okay so once you take a look at them see how you can apply them at your own workplace or within your own environment so let's take a look how to use custom field formats in word 2013 Okay, let me demonstrate how to use custom field formats in Word 2013. So it'll make your uh, make you more productive and, and work more efficiently. So let me close this or minimize this blank document. I'm going to open up a document here as a sample so we can work off of it. This is just a document that I had that I worked on earlier, um, one of the PhD research proposals. This document is about 15 pages right and you can see it from the bottom left side in the corner it tells you the number of pages and the number of words in this document um, and then you can also take a look at whether there are any proofing errors or not for instance if i were to make make some changes to this document and there those were errors uh, where it would tell me that you know, i need to correct those proofing errors and if i need to insert a macro remember we worked with macros earlier so i can uh, directly insert a macro from from this uh, bottom left corner of the screen. Okay, so let me get uh, get to the end of this document and the shortcut method to get to the end of the document is hit control and on your keyboard. Okay, so it'll automatically place you at the end of this document. Uh, so let's suppose if I need to enter the author name, date, number of pages, I need to know how many words are in the document uh, and so forth. Uh, custom fields allow us to do that and they can automatically update themselves or once I tell the field to update um, it will do that. The way I do this is I go to my insert menu and under my text group remember quick parts something that we worked with earlier and here's the option called field. So I go to insert and I can I can insert the uh, field from here. All right, let's see how it's done. So I have to go to insert, okay, menu, and under insert on the ribbon, I'll find a group called the text group, which has quick parts, and we already work with quick parts, okay, so I'm sure you've practiced it. Under quick parts is an option called field. Uh, this is where I can insert a field, and it brings up this dialog box called field and it lists all the different field names that I can insert. Okay, So notice there are a bunch of field names. For easier reference, I can simply select a certain category. For example, if I need to insert a date and time field, it will list me the different date formats that I can simply select and, and insert. Okay, Similarly, I can insert document uh, information, for example, such as author, comments, property, keywords, number of characters in the, in the document, number of pages, number of words, subject, template, and so forth. Uh, likewise, there are other like mail merge that we'll take a look at a little later in subsequent tutorials. I'll show you how to do mail merge and we'll work with fields uh, in that uh, lecture also. But for now, uh, let's do, all right, let's do some document info. Okay, so I'm gonna insert a field about who the author is for this document. Okay. So I just select the author field just like this and I click OK. Before I do this, uh, notice there's an option called preserve formatting during updates. So anytime I make updates or make changes, uh, Word is going to automatically keep formatting structure. I can also go to field code and see how Word actually does this. I can manually do this also within my document by using a certain syntax. And we'll take a look at various syntax in just a moment. But before that, I just want to show you quickly how to uh, work with fields, and then I'll show you how to work with syntax. So I'm going to hide codes for now. So once again, I've selected author. 
format is none, uppercase, lowercase. I'm just going to say default none. Click OK. And Word automatically enters the name of the author. Now, this author name is the author of this particular document. So, notice when I click on it, Word highlights it and shows me that it's a field. So, let's see. I'm just going to give it a title here author name. And I'm going to put date or let's say number of words. Number of words here, and let me go back to my field. The insert, right? Quick parts field. Here I'm going to pick the number of words, and I'm going to choose uh, what kind of uh, the format do I want for these numbers. One, two, three is fine, and I don't want any decimal, so I just want some numeric format. Click OK, and Word automatically inserts the total numbers, which is 4,738 in this document. Same thing I can do with number of characters. Let me move this. Put some tabs. Okay, go back to my field. Here I'm going to select this time number of characters. Same thing. I select the format type and then the numeric format type. And click OK and it displays the number of characters for me. Similarly, I can also insert other fields if I wish uh, regarding this document, such as subject, template, info, file size. You know, same thing with file size, just select the type, okay, and I insert the file size. Okay, I'm just going to format it so that it looks good. I'm just going to do a little formatting here. Okay, so I've inserted these fields, right? All these are, are fields that I've inserted. A couple of ways I can update these fields. So, for example, if I make some changes to this document, for example, let's let's add the following text. Uh, now, notice the number of words stay the same; they do not change. But on the bottom left side, I see that the number of changed automatically. In order for me to update this field, I can either hit a keyboard shortcut, okay, which is F9, key on my keyboard, or I can right click and update field. And Word is going to say, all right, now there are 4,751 words, which matches the corresponding format down below. Okay. And same thing with number of characters, I can update the field, uh, and it updates the characters as well. All right, so we've seen how to insert custom field formats. This is a good way to uh, work with if you want to update the document or you want to see working with various fields name. The benefit really here is that you have all these different kinds of fields that you can insert. Okay, so for example, you can even enter a, a formula if you need to, if you're doing some calculations, or you can bring up a ask dialog box where where it's going to prompt you to enter something. Um, if you're working with uh, citations, for example. So let me show you uh, some of the uh, field codes, as I mentioned earlier, so you know exactly how Word does this. So let's say if I go to this field, a couple of ways I can do this. I can update field or I can, if I click on toggle field codes, it tells me the format of this particular field. Okay? So Word uses the parentheses and then switches. Uh, these are called switch and then certain format to enter a field. I can do the same for for a uh, number of words, for number of characters, and I need to highlight this. Okay, so there's a field, and I'm going to give you a whole list of uh, certain uh, codes. Okay, so once you start doing them, once you start using them, you'll be able to memorize uh, certain certain codes and what they are. And I'm going to also, in my supplementary material, explain what these codes are, so you can kind of read. Uh, at your end. But I just wanted to show you how to uh, quickly work with uh, the author name, number of words, characters, and file size. One more thing I want to add here is the following. So let me quickly update this field. Field. And update field. So let's say I save this document. I'm going to close it. I save it. 
Let's minimize. Here's my document on my desktop. Okay. I'm going to right click, go to properties of this document. A couple of ways I can do this, right? I can I can do it by right clicking the document. Going to properties of the document, which tells me the document details, right? The name of the title, subject, and so forth. I can add tags here. Essentially, here's the the author. Let's say uh, someone else is going to work on this uh, document. So I'm going to say, all right, John is going to be working on this document also. Okay. So I click OK. Now, if I open this document again and go back to where I was. Here I right click and update the field and boom it's going to display off the name of John also. Okay, So very handy way of working with custom field formats. One last quick thing I want to show you before uh, we do the quiz is the fact that once you have created, uh, once you created these uh, fields we can save uh, this setting as a quick part. Okay, So you can reuse them uh, later so you don't have to create uh, the same fields for each uh, document or sets of documents. So to create a quick part, we've seen this earlier also, but just a, a quick recap here, quick practice as well. You highlight the fields, go to the quick parts, and notice save selection to quick parts gallery. Okay, so all I have to do is just save the selection. Here I can enter the name of this uh, building block that I want to give. Um, so I'm going to say author info for my documents okay. and I'm going to save it in the quick parts gallery in the general category notice here I can save it in the building blocks template or I can pick the normal template which is the default template in Word 2013 so if I pick normal it's going to save this building block within every new document that I open off of the normal template okay, so very very handy and I can have it inserted as a content only in its own paragraph or in its own page. Since it's just uh, for fields, I'm going to leave it as insert content only. Okay, so I'm going to click OK and Word is going to save it. So if I open up a new document here, again the keyboard shortcut for opening a new document is Control key and then N. Okay, it will open up a new document for you. And let's see if I have this uh, quick part now in my normal default template. Here it is. So once I do this, it inserts the, uh, the author name form. Okay, notice how this time Word actually inserts a complete name instead of just uh, the document name itself. The reason why is because I have not really saved this document yet, so Word doesn't know which names. So what it does, it automatically picks up the my Microsoft Online account name and displays it here. So let me go back to changing it. So I go to File Options using my Backstage View, and here I've checked this option. I need to make sure that I've selected or this box is checked. My username is just the first name. Okay. Uh, once I click OK, now I have set my name as username. So let's see. Let's let's give it this give it a shot. Open a new document here. Go back to my quick part gallery here, and notice this time the word has updated this field, and it shows you that there are 14 words, and you can count these words here. And number of characters, and the file size is zero because I'm not done yet. Okay. So let me minimize. Okay. So for example, if I need to, uh, I'm just going to scroll up and copy some some text to copy this paragraph. Okay. And let me go back to our document here, which is our field document. I'm going to insert this paragraph. Notice Word updates the names. Okay. The same thing within this document where I have the new document. Here I need to update the fields. Okay. Same thing. I can always hit the keyboard shortcut. Remember F9. So if I hit F9 key on my shortcut, it's going to update the fields for me. Same thing. And once I save it, it's going to give it the file size name also. Okay. All right, so I hope this helps. Take a quiz.